Hello guys, today I would like to introduce our smart vacuum plus injection machine. This is the advanced auto clamp. This is the controller box. This is the vacuum connection. This is the air inlet. This is the, the box to hold the acrylic plate which it's easy to put the plate here. This is the air regulator. The input air is 0 0.5. On the back of machine, uh, this is the power, this is the chip reader connection. This interface, it is to connect to LED lamp. On the left side of the machine, uh, we here have a vacuum tank and wax tank exhausting for the wax. All right, here we go. Um, this button is to start injection. This is manual injection. This is stop. When you have any normal things happen during injection, you can press this button and it stops the automatic clamp working. This is the emergency stop. It's the mirror where you can see the nozzle uh, position. When you put this rubber mold into this auto clamp, you can observe this mirror to find out the right position. The system has three language versions, uh, Chinese, English, and Russia. And now we would like to take English as an example. Uh, here, uh, English. All right, uh, wax part temperature and uh, nozzle temperature, injection pressure, clamp pressure, forward pressure. Um, this is vacuum time, injection time, cooling time hold means delay after injection it delays uh, how much time it delays um, thickness it means the thickness like this rubber mold in the center of the this hole in this position to the bottom of the this rubber mold so this the this is the thickness Okay, now I would like to show you something um, about the functions of auto clamp. This is the up and down. Up means you make this auto clamp goes up, and uh, down it goes down. Uh, when you have a thickness of the rubber mold, uh, you can input the data. Uh, like a system okay then it goes up to the right position of 16 millimeters automatically okay now uh, we would like to show you manual injection okay uh, this is the rubber mode and we already set it uh, like a this is injection pressure of uh, 100 or 100, 105. Okay, um, 110, uh, uh, clamp pressure and uh, forward pressure, 100. It's, it's also okay. Uh, vacuum done. Okay, save. Then this is the group two parameters. Right now, uh, let's see. Manual injection. Uh, this is manual injection. Uh, let's take a look at it one more time
Okay, now we would like to show you the automatic injection here. We press automatic. Then you will see. One more. All right, this is automatic injection. Now we would like to introduce the chip readers. When using chips for rubber modes, it means one chip, it determines parameters for the rubber mode. See uh, how we put the parameter into the, these rubber chips. Uh, let me change the parameter. Uh, imagine this is the um, uh, injection pressure. Uh, okay, uh, this is clamp pressure. Maybe uh, like a one hundred and twenty. Okay. Uh, if we wanna put these chip parameters into this machine, uh, we press here. Put it here on the okay it is okay now let's see parameters on these chips it shows card read successfully then we can put this rubber mode for injection Let's see the injection result. Um, it's perfect. See, um, it's perfect. It's very good. Uh, let's see the stop injection function uh, in case Okay, if it has something anormal happens you can press the stop button uh, it stops injection automatically Now let's see the touch screen. Uh, this is the memory. Uh, it means you can have many many uh, groups data for per, uh, different rubber modes and uh, the first one uh, that's the uh, we already said these parameters you can see uh, just now we used number two um, if like this uh, if you wanna ch uh, number four uh, you could you can change parameters here uh,
okay uh, then it changes uh, maximum uh, 999 and you can have all the parameters for each rubber mode then you can do the job automatically uh, step by step you can have the numbers numbers marking on the rubber mode then each one you already set the parameters equals to the rubber mode then you can start injection one by one the job will be easy when you receive the machine uh, you can change the local time here This blank is to show the abnormal things or un unusual happens when the wax tank or wax or injection pressure is too high or something abnormal happens. It will have signals here. Um, this is the the button for clear the total injection quantities are uh, clear then it starts from zero again when we do the first start injection after that uh, all right number one exhaust the wax from the tank uh, we set this injection pressure at lower value like a 20 then close the valve of vacuum okay. open the valve of the wax tank 